another great review from Eddie's Deep Dives. Okay, what I want to talk today about is in the early 1970s, I was introduced in the comic books to a series of model kits that were put out by MPC, and they were called the Pirates of the Caribbean. They had both a Pirates of the Caribbean and a Haunted Mansion uh, line. The Pirates of the Caribbean consisted of seven different model kits. Now, what happened was, is I used to buy them in Chinatown in New York. And one of my very first ones was called Fate of the Mutineers, which is two skeletons in a, in a desert island. Uh, one is falling in quicksand. The other one would uh, be uh, getting him up or taking him out of the quicksand. And when you press the thing on the model kit, it was called Sap Action. They called it the, the skeleton would get up and, and the hand would be with him. And so basically the other guy would be uh, trapped in the quicksand forever. So it was called Fate of the Mutineers. Now, when I was young and I bought those model kits, I always wanted to go to Walt Disney. But believe it or not, I didn't go until <laughs> I was like 56 when my, my daughter actually took me. Even though I drove over 27 times by it. But I never actually went, which is kind of funny. But anyway, the reason I'm doing the review today is that the model kits have been introduced since, I believe, 2018. Uh, the very first that was introduced back in 2018, which is this one right here, is called... Now, the original name for this one was called the uh, Dead Men's Raft. But now it's called Hex Marks the Spot. And as you could see right here, this model kit, it's sealed. Of course, I'm not going to be opening them. I, I do have two of each one because I was thinking of opening and you know having them professionally built for me or, or building it myself but this model kit right now is doing anywhere from one to two to three hundred dollars because it's no longer being produced um the first one was issued in 19 I'm sorry in uh 2018 I think it was and it's called hex marks the spot original name for it as you could see some of the pictures I'm going to be posting the original name was dead man's raft and uh, anyway this is the one model kit the the other model kit that was introduced in the line i'm not sure in the category of who came first i know this one was the original because i couldn't find the one i purchased and when i went to purchase it i couldn't find it anywhere and the prices were crazy so uh with the help of one of the forum members uh he actually helped me get one of them which is this one that you see here and um the other one that I originally bought, I, I'm not sure exactly where it is. I still haven't found it, but I know I did buy it because I saw it in my history of Amazon. So I did buy one back in 2018. So I should have two of those. Uh, the other kit that they uh, introduced was called This May Be The End. This May Be The End, which is this one. Originally, this one here was called, I'm, I'm looking at, um, uh, the, 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 this one was called condemned to chains forever so this the original version of this one here is called condemned to chain forever that's when it was under mpc not the Lindbergh line Lindbergh is introducing this one you can see this is what it looks in the back let me bring you hex marks the spot so you can get an idea of what it looks like okay now, I'm, I think I'm going to be flashing pictures of these models uh, so you can get an idea of what the original models were. The other one here, this one is called Duel with Death. Now, the original Duel with Death here is um, Ghost of the Treasure Guard. So when it was introduced back in 1970, this model kit was called Ghost of the Treasure Guard. Now it's called Duel with Death. And here's the front of the kit, and then here's the back, the back of the kit. Now, one thing I'm going to say is kind of interesting is uh, when I was getting the kits today to do the review, I, <laughs> I missed one. I missed the one that was my favorite, which was called Fate of the Mutineers, which is, again, the one I said, the pirate in the island and the guy, you know, where they're in quicksand. Now, this one is, it's now called Escape the Tentacles of Fate. That's Escape the Tentacles of Fate. The original for this one is um, Freed in the Nick of Time. Oh, it's the same thing, Freed in the Nick of Time. So this one's called Escape the Tentacles of Fate. And this is what it looks like, so you can get an idea there. Okay. Altogether, there were seven kits. 
Now, the other one that they've introduced is called Shining Spoils of the Scallywag. Now, Shining Spoils of the Scallywag, the original name for this one, which is one of my favorite, is called the, um, wait, yeah. Oh, it was uh, Dead Men Tell No Tales. I was looking to make sure it was that. Yeah, this is the one. Dead Men Tell No Tales. If you could see, this one here is the original. Again, Dead Men Tell No Tales. Now it's called Shining Spoils of the Scallywag. Um, and then finally, but not least, is um, this one here is originally called Hoist, Hoist the Jolly Roger. Now it's called Freebooter's Last Leg. Freebooter's Last Leg. Okay, as you can see there. But it was originally under the MPC brand. It was called Hoist the, the Jolly Roger. And this was when they were introduced back in the day under MPC. And they were for the Pirates of the Caribbean and Walt Disney. The original ride is in California. And the one in Miami is... Uh, it's almost they were they're both identical, I think, exact. But um, that's the story with the, uh, with the model kits, and I hope that if I'm, and again, I'm sorry that I don't have the last one in this review, but I'm going to probably post some pictures of it. And I just want to tell you guys, if uh, you like this review, I would suggest you go on Amazon, eBay, whatever, and get the whole collection because they're going up in crazy prices right now. The one I'm talking about that I forgot today. It's actually selling between $99 to $165. Uh, for some reason, everything I like is very expensive. <laughs> I'm glad I had them back then. Thank you very much for this review. From all you cool ghouls and friendly fiends to the house of the unusual. Join the maestro of mail order mysteries, Eddie Guevara, and Joe Pavlaski from Crypt of Classics as they take you on a journey of magic, mystery, and vintage pop culture. With them is world-renowned horror magician Chuck Caputo and his exclusive line of horror magic kits, only available here. Join in the weekly podcast and hear from industry-leading guests and collectors alike. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for amazing videos. If that weren't enough, visit houseoftheunusual.com and connect on the free forum.